What's going on guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets and welcome back to another video. Now prior to me getting the Gladiator, I had actually done a video of a few weekends ago up at Roush Creek. Now if you watch that video all the way through, at the end I mentioned that there was one trail that I didn't include in that video and that is what this video is about. So I took my Jeep on Crucible at Roush Creek Off-Road Park. It's one of the hardest trails there. It's fairly new and it is a red. The Jeep did amazing. It's a pretty gnarly trail. And uh, I actually did come out with a good amount of body damage. So in this video, we're gonna check that out. Sit back and enjoy it. Okay. How to remove your hard top in the middle of the trail. So we've done most of the northeast side of, uh, of Roush Creek. So we're heading to Crucible. It's one of the harder trails here. Which way, to the left? Left. And uh, it's one of the harder trails on the northeast property. I'm gonna give it a shot, we're gonna see. And then after that, we're gonna head off for lunch but I'm excited. This is going to be a little bit of fun um, to do Crucible. I've never done it. It's a new trail and it looks crazy. So we're heading there now. So far the Jeep's been doing pretty good and uh, I haven't scared off the passenger yet. So that's always good. <laughs> All right, we heading to the right or staying straight? Uh, we're taking a right. All righty, we'll be back. Here we are at Crucible. How you feeling, Ben? I don't know, man. I just saw the exit. And the boulders are humongous. So if like, if anything's gonna test the Jeep, this is gonna test the Jeep. Um, but we'll we'll give it a shot. There's no bypasses, so uh, might be a lot of winching. So good thing we brought a trailer because this trail might make us use it. We're doing crucible. This I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up my Jeep. It's it's inevitable. It's gonna be a test. <laughs> no, I'm not it. Here we go. Alrighty. Get out. <laughs> Go, Dan. Now that I'm going back and watching this footage, 
it makes me feel like I should have done something differently. Of course, hindsight is 2020, but what you're not seeing in this like footage is how off camber this trail is. Of course, the GoPro really distorts it all, but if you actually look and look at how vertical the trees are compared to the terrain, you'll really notice how off camber it is. Now, looking back, what I should have done and my recommendation for anybody planning to do this trail is don't try to climb over this rock. You're gonna have to get your front tires on it and what I would recommend, I don't know, I didn't do it. However, I think if you went into it with a little bit of momentum, bumped, turned passenger, you'd be able to clear the rock and the tree. However, I did not do that. I tried to crawl it and that didn't work out so well for me. Okay, you got it. How much passenger do I need to go? More. You got in front of your driver tire, you got this much more rock before I would come down because yeah, this I rock, want, yeah. So stay straight? Yeah, yeah. Fly off the tree. I would back up, turn passenger and back up. I think we're just gonna have to go forward now. It, you're not gripping anything on that rear tire. I mean, I think I'm high centered now. Do you, there's one, there's one tree uh, way up there that we can winch to. Hard top. It was a hard top. Yeah, it's creasing. Alrighty. The front's moving. Well, that's very unfortunate. We are in a pickle. Big old pickle, so. I'm high center on a rock. Against a tree. And winch line broke, so. We gotta get out of here. We found the weak point, and it was the hard top. And the winch. And my ego. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what happened. We walked this trail, too. We're like, oh, we're gonna hit the hard top. Yeah, hit it all right. Hit it all right. We're moving to a soft top, I think. Best top. Gonna be giving you a call when I get back, so. <sighs> Keep working on this and hopefully we'll get out soon. This trail is no joke, don't try it. Push up. I'm gonna twist it my way now to rip it. Wait, 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 class. Okay. You think? No, 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 glass. Hang on, it's a shadow. Okay. Cut my clothes. All right, lower down. Lower, lower side. All right, yeah, you got it. Now, come here. All right, now, All right. this should be free. Should be free. Come back. Yep. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I don't have it. I don't have it. I need help. How to remove your hard top. It's really close the trail. Close the, uh, that thing. Coda. That doesn't show you how high up we are. <laughs> uh, are Y'all got it from here? Yeah, this yeah. Big yeah. Big yeah. Yeah. Back, yeah, back glass, boys. All right. Next video is going to be a new top, some corner <laughs> armor, if I can fix this, and uh, or we just turn the, go ahead and turn it into a buggy. I think it's time. Hey, you know what you need to do? Huh? So your wife's not angry about the hard top and the quarter panel and all that? You should buy a gladiator on the way home. <laughs> Show up with a the gladiator, then she'll be uh -huh. mad at you for buying a gladiator. Yeah. True, it's a lot easier to get in <laughs>
Alright, let me move. Yeah, bad enough to break a Jeep. We don't need people. You're gonna climb. Oh, Alright. Beautiful rock. Um, passenger. Nope. Straight. Keep going. A little bit passenger, a little bit slow. A little bit, a little bit. Yep, we're good. Slow. Slow. Um, the front one's pretty good. But Six your inches. Come up. He's down now. We're good. Well, that was Crucible on Roush Creek. It's raining now, so we gotta go grab the hardtop that was on the trail, put it back on the Jeep, and head back to camp. Um, got a little check engine light here, so we have to figure out what that's all about. But uh, overall, trail extremely hard. Would I recommend it? Probably not. We will be back later. We'll take a look at all the damage that occurred, but I'll see you later. So as you could tell, that was a really gnarly trail. The best way to do it is very slow. However, I think in that situation, I had too many spotters and too much stuff going on. Um, sometimes whenever you have two or three people spotting, as a driver, it gets hard to you know try to listen to everybody and make a decision. Um, that trail, it was nice having multiple spotters looking at the different angles of the rocks and everything. And of course, you know, I was the only one doing the trail, so everybody else in the trail ride was on the trail watching and spotting. But let's take a look at the damage so here's my little souvenir from uh from crucible honestly it's not that bad it could have been worse so in the video as you could tell it that first impact creased in and made this rip in the hard top i didn't want to continue going forward and ruin the entire rest of the hard top i'd rather have one big chunk out of this because honestly that right there isn't horrible I'm gonna try to see if I can do some fiberglass work, possibly repa repair the top, at least just patch it. Doesn't have to look perfect, and honestly, I think it'd be fun to kind of learn how to do fiber work. Uh, fiberglass work, fiber work. I guess that actually works. That's a good name, fiber work. Um, so I might try to fix that, or my other option is just to move to a soft top. I have no issues moving to a soft top. It's actually something that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, still on the fence on what soft top, what kind of design, am I gonna go with a fast back or your standard full soft top, we will see. I think this kind of gave me the push to do that. But before I do a soft top, I'd like to see if I can repair this. That is not horrible. I did get a little bump right here on the windshield frame, nothing too bad either. Um, I guess that would be one nice thing about having light bars, um, have a little bit of armor up there. But I am not worried about that at all. Dings and dents like that happen. The biggest thing and the worst thing is this dent right here. So 
corner armor. Everyone would say, oh man, if you had corner armor, this wouldn't have been affected. I honestly think that if I had corner armor, this it might have made it worse. So what happened is it was so high up on here, it actually bent this top rail in where the hard top sits. I haven't messed with it yet. I'm gonna make a video of me trying to repair this. I'm not taking it to a body shop. I think I can get this dent out and uh, you know, re-bend that reel back straight. That'll be an interesting video. But most corner armor is just gonna cover up here and usually go to this crease or under that rail. If I had corner armor in, I think it still would have bent in and it would have carried this dent all the way along this uh, that corner, the whole rear quarter. I think it would have all folded in due to the stress being distributed all the way across. I don't know, that's my theory. I'm not sure, um, but I'm gonna fix that dent, pop it out, and then now put corner armor on. Um, the biggest concern is getting this rail nice and flush so even a soft top will fit back on there. But as it sits now, the hard top actually does still bolt on, bolts on that front one, a little bit on that one. Of course, the one back here doesn't bolt on at all. But we're gonna pop that out as best as we can, cover it in corner armor, and throw the new top on. So wheeling harder trails, um, especially reds and really tight like East Coast trails, it's bound to happen. You're gonna get body damage. The best mentality to come out with it is that it's just a Jeep. As long as you know the people are okay and you're not burning it to the ground, everything's fixable, everything's replaceable, and it's part of the sport. Um, I know a lot of people, I know people that would sit there and cry if this happened to them, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. You live and learn, learn how to fix body damage, might learn how to uh, come out with some fiberglass work on top of that. That's what this sport's about, learning how to fix things and just enjoying the ride. So stay tuned for those two videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I know it wasn't the most in impressive filming and shots. Uh, I had a buddy that was filming that's not used to filming YouTube videos, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and go down in the comments and let me know if you would try that trail. I will tell you that it is a lot harder and the rocks are a lot bigger than it looked on the GoPro. So. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for videos on the Gladiator up next. Got a bunch of mods rolling in, nothing crazy. And we are taking it to Uari down in North Carolina this weekend to do some trail testing with its stock. We're going to the mountains of North Carolina where there's gonna be mud, clay, and trees. See how it does there. See you next time.